Namaste. As the governments with veto powers in the United Nations increasingly fail to respect decisions voted as critical to the well-being of global peace and security, reflects the insecurity they now feel with having to share decision-making with members who are now claiming their voice be heard. This challenge to the five favored nations makes it difficult for them to arbitrarily favor issues that focus on their self-interest or resort to debating these issues to death to ensure their self-interests are fully met. The legacy of colonialism assumes their superiority over member states and is seen as their justification to abuse the power of veto when resolutions do not serve their self-interest. Continuing to have five nations that can override the recommendations of almost 200 member states in the United Nations shows their denial of the integrity, sovereignty and political maturity of the member states and their arrogance in not recognizing this new order. The denial by the few favored nations is challenging the transition of the United Nations and other multilateral international organizations to suit the felt needs of the global community. The member countries now demand a partnership based on equality and through which the desire to create a world based on shared values like respect for territorial integrity, human rights and international law are always maintained at the forefront.